In today's video, Rebecca, Cecilia, and I are taking the 235 up to Pittsburgh to watch my son Jordan race go-karts at a cool racetrack outside of Pittsburgh. All right, so welcome on board. We're headed to Pittsburgh to meet up with our son, who, along with buddies, are, fly, are uh, racing go-karts at a cool racetrack there. So we're going to go watch that. Checking the engine one last time, making good power. Off the brakes, heels on the floor. There comes 60, we rotate. Is in the green, making good power. Traffic Cherokee 152 on the wind, 2 3. We're departing the area northbound Fairmont. Keep it coordinated and keep the climb coming. Flexburg approach. Good afternoon, Cherokee 15152 with the BFR request. Yeah, Cherokee 15152, Clarksburg. Cherokee 152 is a P28 Bravo slant golf. We're just off Fairmont Airport. We'd like to pick up flight following to Bravo Victor India, please. 4,500. 15152, maintain VFR. The altimeter is 5265. All right, VFR on 5265 on the squawk for 152. 5265. Restaurant there, Beaver's pretty good. How do I? Five, just push five. Harder though, you gotta make a change there. 5265. We'll see how it is at 45. I mean, if it's not great, we'll figure something else out. We'll eventually get caught by the ceiling, so there's not much, not going to be a whole lot higher we're going to be able to go than that. Yeah. We'll just see if it smooths out. Hey, one five, one five, two, radar contact, four miles north of uh, Fairmont out of 4100. Maintain via 40 altimeters, 3011. 11, one position altitude checks for uh, 152. We're almost to cruise altitude here, and then we'll do a a cruise checklist and see if things are going to settle down a little for us. This really isn't, again, calibrating our expectations to what choppy and bumpy is. This is like... Normal summer. Yeah, this is normal summer. Alright, here's 4500, so we're going to go ahead and level off here. Can you pull out that chart, that laminated chart that's in your pocket right there, the uh, yellow and white one? And look for 4500 feet, uh, right here, yeah, and, 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 and go over to the 65% power section over here. We need to find, how about 22 and uh, go over one more, 21 and a half, 2200 RPM, 21 and a half inches of manifold pressure, okay? So what's that say? 22, how much manifold pressure? 21 and a half. Yeah. Let's pull the power back to 21 and a half inches and pull the prop back to 2200 RPM. That'll be our cruise power setting. Once you're up, you'll be fine, whatever you need to do. So let's uh, let's run a checklist here, Cru uh, cruise checklist. Power is set, we did that just now. Propeller is set. Uh, one, five, two, just to give you a heads up, uh, up around Waynesburg, between Waynesburg and Washington, they're not talking to anybody. But there's multiple gliders out there, about 3,500 to 4,500 feet. And I can see them on a squawk hood, but they're not talking to anybody. I just want to give you a heads up. You'll be in Pittsburgh's airspace. I appreciate that for 152. We'll keep our eyes open. What's your heading right now to Beaver? Maybe about a, uh, be about one degrees if we're direct. We're kind of anticipating, though, from Pittsburgh getting uh, cleared overhead. The uh, International Airport is kind of what we're expecting for our transition. Yeah, Roger. Uh, yeah, I do know we get, we feed IFR arrivals to Beaver and Butler at 7, so I, I'm not sure what they'll do with you there. Roger, we'll see what happens. Notice it's just like little patches or bumps. Yeah. It's not consistently about the weather to make a, about what that is. Just different air masses. I mean, it's not all like one consecutive air mass, you know, so there are just pockets of, um, Pockets of instability. Can you hold that yoke for just a second? I just want to unscrew my cap. 
Three Tango Mike, set him 18, 7,000. Alpha 7, 3 Tango Mike, thank you. Thank you. That was, that was a much needed, much needed refreshments. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it. Much needed refreshments. A little bumpy at this point. I don't imagine what it would yeah, be. Yeah, Terry, you're 152. Uh, you got ADSB there? Hey, firm. And can you see beacon codes on ADSB? That's affirmative. Okay, if you see 1202 coach, 1202, those are the gliders I'm talking about. They're they're out there just north of Waynesburg. I see one about, uh, is it one about, uh, let's see, eight miles north of me, about 5,900 feet or so? That's correct, one o'clock and eight miles, 6,100 climbing. There's another one out there at one o'clock and 13 miles at 3,500. And they're on uh, glider squawk 1202 when they're VF4. Got it, yeah, I see uh, I see the one to my one o'clock uh, on ADSB. Okay, roger that. I've got traffic down here to my right. Yeah. Three Tango Mike, send him 18. There's an airport down there. Awesome. Yeah, you see him? Six around six the airport. Tango, That's cool. Check one five one five two Pittsburgh now, 119.35. Good day. 1935 for 152. Appreciate your help. Alpha Fox, maintain 3,000. Turn 5 degrees right. 5 right, 3,000 for uh, Alpha Fox drop. Wish the gliders Pittsburgh were... Pittsburgh approach, Cherokee 15152, 4,500. Cherokee 15152, Pittsburgh departure, altimeter 300, niner clear through class Bravo at 4,500. 09 and clear to the Bravo at 4,500 for Cherokee 152. All right, so there's our Bravo clearance. So he cleared us direct. By 10 Alpha Fox. He cleared us direct uh, to board, direct to BDI. So that's what we're going to do. That is uh, for Alpha Fox That's what we're going to do. Uh, Let's go. So we go here. We go. Five ten nope. Fox present heading until you join the nope. final. One way two eight Allegheny clear visual approach. Direct to the joint. Clear visual for uh, uh, the Rob Fox truck back. Zero nine five Quebec turn right heading two eight zero. Let's see. Four thousand. Direct to BB. There we go. Enter. Two eight zero. Enter. There's our course. That's what we want. Three five nine. Number five ten Alpha Fox. Speed is your discretion. That's great. Tower one two eight four. Correction one two one point one. 21-1, speed our discretion, thanks, zero off the clock. Cool. So the, the, uh, the glider is to our right. Okay. 1,200 feet above us. He's like uh, three miles right off our right wing. I'm sorry, 12, yeah, 1,200 above us. Number 95, Quebec, resume normal speed. We'll if never you want to speed up, you can. I don't think. <laughs> He's likely above the yeah, clouds, right? 1,200 yeah. above? But at the 95 Quebec, runway 28 Allegheny, yeah, cleared visual approach. I think so. This is visual. 95 Quebec. I was thinking yesterday about like my motivation to get my license and stuff. Uh huh. And I think it's going to be less for just going up and flying all the time, and more for when we fly that we can just kind of switch off, you know, and just yeah, that's cool. Be fluent in like switching and Absolutely. being able to fly places. That's cool. And also probably go up and fly. Got a little better. Are you getting enough air, baby? There's air below your feet if you want to turn. See this thing on the door over here? It's got a little lever. You can you can slide and it'll open more or close more and blow more cold air at you. This is pretty typical summer air. I remember from last summer. It's about how it was. Is it working? Okay. Okay, so let's do it. Let's change our fuel tanks now. So to do that, we turn the fuel pump on. We always watch the fuel pressure gauge anytime we're making changes to fuel to make sure it doesn't, we don't lose full fuel pressure. So I reach down here, move it to the left main. It's in the detent. And if there was a problem, we'd see this fuel pressure gauge drop off. Looks like no problem. It's holding perfectly fine. So we wait just a couple seconds. And then we turn the electric fuel pump off because the engine has a fuel pump already that's running. This is a backup to that in case the engine-driven pump dies. We have another pump because in the Cessna, if you think about it, the fuel tanks are in the wings above the engine, so gravity just feeds the fuel to it. So in this case, the, the fuel is below the engine, so it, it takes a pump to run the fuel into the engine on this airplane. Thank you. 
So if you look up here to the right, see the big opening and the big like white area of land over here and stuff yeah. to the right? Yeah. That's Pittsburgh International Airport. Okay. We're going to fly right off the departure ends of runways 28. So it is possible that we will see some big airliners coming out cool. at us off of our right. Not at us. Yeah, I, you know, I figured. Over us. Better not be coming at us. Probably so much nicer at like 65 or 8500. I have us coming back at 52, turn 10 degrees right. 10 right for Cherokee 152. That read back is correct. November 15152, turn 10 degrees right. 10 degrees right, 152. Cherokee Banner 058 Juliet, contact Johnstown approach 121.2. One point two, thank you. Was that uh, two answered at once? Uh, okay, November eight five Sierra high dead, and that's all I need from you. November five eight Juliet, did you read back twenty one two for Johnstown? Five eight Juliet, Roger twenty one two for Johnstown. Thank you, sir. Good day. This guy's juggling November all kinds of things. Five three eight five Sierra radar contact yep. two miles. So he turned us 10 degrees airport. right, and the reason he did, uh, well, we would have been clear out here off the departure ends, we'd have been probably right in the climb profile of jets leaving, so he's bringing us inside of them so that they'll be, we won't be in their way when they're leaving, so he took us actually closer, in fact right now, on this heading, we're basically flying directly, you can see one of the runways from Pittsburgh International yeah, this it. way, but that, those aren't the big ones, the big ones are running this way. This is cool, I was hoping we were going to get to come really close to uh, Pittsburgh International put a lot of trust in us at this point. But we'll be where we said we would be. I can't believe those cases of people that like go places where they don't have clearance and just like completely disregard. No, I wonder Alpha Fox for the Enter Class Bravo so and to me. repeat the altitude out or below what? Like it's not only rude, it's also like incredibly dangerous for everyone. Look at your Alpha Fox for maintain VFR and uh, clear to Enter Class Bravo for you know, course. All right, there's a guy to our right, 2,200 feet below us, kind of our uh, one or two o'clock, uh, four and a half mile at 2,300, passing left to right. Opposite direction, he's going away from us, but our 44, thank you. I see it. You got him? Yeah. He's no factor, right? No. Okay. Impressive, I can't. Good eyes, I, did, I still don't see him, but. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not there. One like near that bridge. Oh, got him. Over the water tower right now. Coming towards the interstate. Yeah, I got, him. got him. Look at Pittsburgh International Airport. How crazy is this? It's a completely weird comment, but the big planes they have parked over there, the like black ones, they look like dinosaurs. Don't they? Yeah. Alright, this is one of the coolest things I've seen from an airplane so far. Number 152, resume navigation and proceed on course to BVI. Alright, don't nav to a BVI for 152. Great view from here. Send me a photo and contact Pittsburgh on 12475, November 152. 2475, I'll send it on Facebook for 152. Have a good one. Take care, buddy. And off of Fox, the traffic is. <laughs> send me a photo. Uh, Epic. I love what they do. Pittsburgh, decide. Cherokee 15152 with you, 4500. Hey, was that 152 uh, checking in? Hey, Fire 15152. Doctor, uh, some of the streets are an honor. Rick three frequency changes approved. Talk to you next time. All right, we're going direct BBI. Now. Rick three, so, uh, trying real hard to do my navigation here. Direct BBI. Yeah, you're good. Just a lot of. Uh, hey, we're already direct BBI. We did it. We were already in the exactly. So here's the other thing we can do now. We go to our flight plan down here. Direct to BBI. Enter. Enter. And there's our heading. Turn right to three five four. All right. All right, let's see if we can get the weather. Seven, altimeter, three, zero, zero, eight, three mark. Density, altitude, three, thousand. We just had a very extended average. We have one, six, zero, zero, local time. We call it graphic cloud here. We're going to see one, two, zero, point three. For additional information, I'm going to put the first and one, two, four, point eight, five. It's first. We're going to go to zoom operation, two, seven, at zero, seven, three, zero, local. Weather, 0 at 3, visibility 
call. That's easy. 290 at 3. I mean, that's like basically no wind, and they have a runway 28. That's perfect. God, that is so cool. Massive airport. That is unbelievably cool. All right, so the cool thing about Beaver Airport is that during the week and certain hours on, on Sunday or on Saturday, Roger, I'll have a jump down for you in the next few months. It's towered. It's towered during the week and on certain hours on Sunday. Today, the control tower is closed, and so it is an untowered field. Right now, I don't see any traffic targets, but this morning, there were like four people doing pattern loops. So Before the, it got real hot. Yeah. The good news is we're coming in from the correct way for, for a left downwind for 2-8 already, so it's going to be an easy, it's going to be an easy uh, pattern entry. Okay. Uh, traffic pattern, runway 28, we'll make 45, and we'll add that to our route. So it's already in four flights. So that's, now we know exactly what we need to be doing. I've become much more attuned to when you're like leveling or descending or even like doing anything. Like I can feel, you know. Yep. I just feel like I know what the plane you, is you doing. You do get to feel it. And you can tell when you're slowing down. Like you just, you start yeah. to feel the, feel the things that are happening. November 15152, altitude your discretion, start your descent for uh, Beaver. Altitude your discretion, we've got Beaver in sight in the weather there. Alright, so let's do a descent checklist real quick, just because I don't do it in this plane all the time. Throttle is required, airspeed is desired, mixture enriching, carb heat as required, which it's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and just pull this back like two or three inches, no more, and go ahead and put our nose over. Start a nice 500 foot per minute descent or so. I've noticed uh, most of the checklists are just look at everything. The departure November 1 to make sure that it's right. Pretty much. Uh, back with you again, 1800 feet. I've hit the Ohio River. Uh, one zero five shot. Let's pick up three zero zero nine. What else are you going to say? Uh, three zero zero nine. Uh, between 17 and 1800, if you can accommodate. Number one five one five two. Clear the Bravo. Frequency changes approved. Squad so far. Have a good day. All right, Scott, could be a phone over to advisory for one five two. So long. Where are we here? We're uh, six miles like south. Beaver County, Cherokee, one five one five two six south, descending out of three uh, three thousand seven hundred. We're gonna enter our left downwind for runway two eight, Beaver County. All right, I'm gonna turn my landing light on. I'm gonna make myself very visible here. Yeah. And pattern altitude is twenty three hundred feet. So we got about a thousand feet to descend still before we're at pattern altitude. So this is setting up. This is setting up real good. So the scent checklist we've got, approach will be altimeters are set, fuel selector is on a proper tank. Definitely, definitely have the runway in sight. It's this way. It's that, it's right there. Yep. Beaver County, Cherokee, 15152, three miles uh, to the south. We're entering a 45 uh, left downwind for runway 28, Beaver County. The scent coming, because we need to get to 2300 feet to be a pattern altitude. We've reached pattern altitude, so a little power. And Beaver, uh, Cherokee 152 is a left downwind for runway 28, Beaver. All right, before landing, seats and seat belts, fuel pump is on, mixture is rich, we'll get the prop. Seats and seat belts are on, landing lights on, flaps under 100. Before landing checklist is complete. We're losing a little bit of altitude here. Mixture's rich. All right, we are inside the white arc and a beam our touchdown point. So let's go ahead, get our first notch of flaps in. We'll do this at like 105, pull this back to like 1600. Start a descent. And Beaver traffic, Cherokee 152 is turning a base, runway 28, Beaver. Looking good, Cease. We're gonna have to descend though, so let's get let's get that happening. I miss our uh, Australian guy. I know, 20 degrees. Oh. Uh. power come back. Prop can go forward now. Trying at 100. That's where we want to be. Finals clear. Clear. And Beaver Cherokee 152 is turning a final for runway 28. Beaver. Keeping our nose down. Keeping coordinated. Turning right in on it. 
We're going to slow to 95. 500. Short final runway 28. power. Um, it's fine. We're okay. We've got lots of speed. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's how we do it on the bunny. So after a hot taxi back in the 95 degree heat, we stop at AirQuest Aviation for some fuel and to pick up the crew car before heading out to Pittsburgh International Race Complex where we'll check out my son racing go-karts with his friends this afternoon. Pittsburgh International Race Complex was super cool. After a short stop for dinner, we headed back in the 235 for a short flight back to Fairmont and a beautiful evening flying the airplane. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.